Hi, how are you? Malton here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a little Audi A11 litre front wheel drive. Next to me is a big Audi SQ7 V8 Turbo. And we're going to have a drag race up a snowy slope in a snow dome. Because I can. And if you like these kind of crazy drag races, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on because there's more coming. Anyhow, let me tell you about this little A1. It has a one litre, three cylinder turbocharged petrol engine with 110 horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque. Drives the front wheels only for a seven speed automatic gearbox. It's quite light, weighs in at just over 1.1 tonnes. And it's reasonably inexpensive. Starting price is just under 21,000 pounds. So this one with options is like 30. <sighs> It's a bit like David versus Goliath this isn't let's speak to the chap in Goliath it's Daniel from the German Carwell YouTube channel hey Daniel I bet you think you've got this wrapped up haven't you there with your V8 yeah yeah poor little me in my three-cylinder tell me about your car so as you said it's a four litre v8 by turbo it has 507 horsepower 770 newton meters of torque and it has four-wheel drive however it weighs 2265 kilograms still i think you've got a better power to weight ratio than me my friend in terms of pounds per weight how much does that thing cost in euros it's 102,000. um maybe somebody can tell me a pounds again it's so bloody german you know now if you want to check out his channel just Follow the link in the description to the German Kawai YouTube channel if you like this kind of thing in the German language. Yeah. Hello, can someone tell us the price in pounds? 81,890. Just under 82,000 pounds. Okay. You think I'm going to lose this, don't you? However, I have a little ace at my sleeve. You see, this car is on winter tyres. That car is on normal summer tyres, like us British like to drive around on even when it's winter. Which is best? Winter tyres or four wheel drive? Let's do this. Car? Wow. Now before we race, let's do the customary car by sound check. So I'm going to rev up this little one litre. Sounds crap. Daniel, rev up your V8. That's better. Even though it has a soft limiter as well, this just sounds rubbish. Okay, now let's race. Oh, before we do, if you're thinking about changing your car and you need some help, just click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll put the link in the description below. You can use CarWow to get a great price for the car you're selling, and you can check out all the latest offers on the car you're planning to move into. It's dead simple. If you want to do that at a later date, just simply Google Help Me Car Wow, and my team and I will help you choose the right car for you, get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers, and get a fair price for the car you're selling. Right, now let's race. Okay, let's do this. We're going to launch them. This really hasn't got launch control, and that's got a sort of fake launch control with its eight-speed torque converter automatic gearbox. Here we go. Sports mode. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm winning. I'm winning. Hey, 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 hey. Wicked, wicked, wicked. What's he doing? Is he coming? Dude, what happened to you, mate? Why aren't you going to take part in this race? What's happening? Well, I'm actually kind of happy because I'm not sliding down and crashing into anything, but I'm also not moving forwards. Maybe if you don't try to launch it so hard and you just creep off the line, don't have another go. See if that helps you, yeah? I'm not trying to wind you up or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, quick question. I'll just be gentle, but I'll still have everything turned off, correct? Yeah, be gentle, but have everything off. I'm just going to take it easy. Oh, he's going, he's going up. Come on, come past him. Look. <laughs> oh no, oh no, this could be scary. He's going backwards. Oh my God, is he going to crash? Don't crash. Yep. That's the problem with not having winter tyres. Daniel, you did pretty good there, mate. You went up the slope, but probably a bit too far, and then you slid all the way back down. People forget about this, you see. Four-wheel drive is good for traction, but it's not so good for stopping. You all right? Yes, you know what? Crashing wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. I mean, I was just toying with you at first. Like, I was just like, oh, I'm just creeping up there. I thought, oh, he's got some momentum. I better accelerate a bit more, and I, I was able to accelerate. Whereas you, with your big V8 four-wheel drive, but no winter tires, just lost traction, started sliding down. I think we need to try something else. Okay then, Daniel, you've now had winter tires fitted to your car. 
I think the tables may be about to turn. I feel a lot less scared now. <laughs> You're not gonna go sliding down and like crash the car again. So let's see who's the first of the cone. Maybe I can surprise you and me and everyone. What's he doing? I'm winning this. I'm winning this. I'm winning this. I won this. Sorry, Matt. I didn't go into drive. It's not my fault. I won. The front wheel drive A1 is better on snow than the SQ7, regardless of tires. Well, but you shouldn't be an idiot driving the four-wheel drive car, though. That's what let me down, being incompetent. It's better than being incontinent. You've been both, actually. No, you haven't. I don't know anything about you wetting yourself. Yeah, this conversation has taken an unexpected turn. Are you happy with your launch control now, Daniel? Yes, I am. And have you got your nappy on, Daniel, so that the incontinence doesn't matter so much? Now the seats are black, nobody will notice. Let's go again, then. Oh, now he's taking off. Okay then, Daniel, I think you just about won that, didn't you? Yeah, but to be honest, I was quite surprised. You were hanging in there quite well. I was very enthusiastic with the power and everything. I wasn't paying attention on being gentle. So it spun the wheels a lot and you kept up for a while. For a while, but you were still first past the post. Oh well. I'm gonna try something else now. Let's see how far I can go up this slope. See if I can go all the way to the top and you follow me. Come on, front wheel drive little car. Right, it's quite slippy this bit coming up, so I'm going to need to go with a bit of pace. Whee! Come on up the top! Will it go all the way up? Oh yeah! I did it! I'm well chuffed. Can he do it? He's going to come down behind me. Oh, he made that, no problem. Right, I need to make this a little bit tougher. Okay, Daniel, we both did that. So front wheel drive, pretty impressive when you've got winter tires on. Now I'm gonna try and start on this slightly steeper slope and see if I can get all the way to the top again. Come on. Okay, this is not good. I'm literally going nowhere. Come on, you bugger. No, I'm done, Daniel, I'm done. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna reverse up and let you start in that location, see if you can go up. Right, in your own time, what are you gonna do? Can he do it? Oh. <laughs> Easy. You got some wheel spin, but you've done it. Okay, come back round. Let's make it a little bit more difficult for you. There's a very steep bit just here on the bend. See if you can drive up that bit. Get right close to the bend and just drive. Keep driving, keep driving, keep going. Keep going, 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 go on. Oh, on. Uh, 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 uh. oh, back wheel slipping. You can see the power going from the front to the back. Oh, go on, dig in. Oh, no. Okay, Daniel, you're going nowhere. Back up a bit and see if you get a bit of momentum where you can go that tight corner, where it's also got a side slope as well, so it's really making the four-wheel drive system work. Can you do it? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, yeah! Easy. It did it! <laughs> Just that little bit of momentum made the difference. Now, see if you can do it again one more time, but get really close to the wall where it's at a terrible angle. If you can do it close to the wall, I'll buy you a donut. Really close to the wall, right close to the wall. Keep it close to the wall, the steepest bit. Go on. Ooh, yeah, boy. Yeah, the slope just pushes you to where it's less steep, doesn't it? Yeah, I was moving a bit left as soon as the tire started to lose traction. Okay, I'm gonna have one last run up here. Come on. Oh. Oh, I'm spinning up the wheels, come on! Oh, bugger. That's what happens. If you don't have quite enough momentum in this front wheel drive car, you're basically scuppered. Oh, well.
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there, to go to CarWire to see how much your car is really worth. Thanks for watching.